Hello. One of the great things about Team Awareness Kit is the great links that you can go to to customize your view and create the common operating picture that you want to see. Right now I'm looking at a state park map. This is not going to be found in tech off the shelf. This is something I've pulled in using my state parks website. Right now I'm looking at a quite difficult trail fairly famous in the southeast, known as Fiery Gizzard. It's part of the larger South Cumberland State Park complex. Now what I don't have is its sister park within this complex, known as Savage Golf. Some people know it by the name of one of its most scenic points, Stone Door. So I'd like to have that state park map superimposed as a layer on top of the other maps that I have available. So here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm going to go to my state parks website. I've Googled Tennessee state park maps. And the second thing I get is park trail maps. Skipping ahead to that, in my state, I'm fortunate that they make available all, pretty much all of the state park maps for download. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to South Cumberland State Park. Past it. Two sections, Savage Golf and Fiery Gizzard. I'm going to click on Low Resolution Printable Trail Map Free. It's going to bring me to this. This is a JPEG. Now some of the maps that I've downloaded from their website have been PDF. You can just export those PDFs to a JPEG and that'll work fine within TAC. So I'm going to hold down on the screen. I'm going to save the image. I've actually already done that earlier, so there'll, there'll be two copies floating around. That's okay. I'm going to go back into TAC. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background map that I'm using. So right now I'm looking at a Google satellite view. No, it's hybrid. Yeah, that'll be fine. I want streets. I want to be able to see rivers. I need a lot of things that I can reference and bounce against the state park map that I just downloaded. So this should be good. So I'm going to go into my overflow menu, the top right hand corner, in alphabetical order, I'm going to find rubber sheet, I'm going to create a new rubber sheet, plus sign, it's asking me to find the file that I just downloaded. Now you'll notice there are two different, slightly different names in here. The copy that I downloaded before the video, I went ahead and renamed because whatever you call that JPEG, that's what it's going to call this map. And I have a lot of these maps saved in my devices. And to help with the naming convention, I start all of them off the same. So TNSP, Tennessee State Park, and then the name of the park. So I'm gonna pick this one right here. So wherever I was looking on the map, of course, TAC doesn't know exactly where to put it. So it's just going to drop it down right there in the middle of the view. I'm going to slide that right screen over to give myself the maximum amount of real estate. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the center of the map. Uh, there's a lot of things that were under my thumb. It's asking me basically which thing was I trying to click on. I have also downloaded the GPX, uh, sorry, GPS trails from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. That's the agency in the state that, that manages the state park. So when I clicked on there, I also clicked on several trails. So I'm gonna click on the JPEG. Yes, that's what I wanted. And I'm going to go to the edit option on the radio, and I'm gonna slide this color slider. It's really a transparency slider to about 50%. I'm gonna click edit. Now to make this work, I'm going to need landmarks. I mentioned that earlier. Roads work well, intersections are better, rivers, even trails. And I'll show you what I mean with trails. So I'm gonna take the map and I'm gonna slide it out of the way. You see those red lines on the base map? That is not part of Google Hybrid. That's actually an overlay that I've downloaded. Those are those GPS tracks that denote where the trails are. That's gonna be very helpful because this map also has the trails, except they're a black, dashed line. Now you can see the scale's different. That's okay. We're going to fix that. As long as the map that I've downloaded is to a scale that's consistent from one corner to the other, then I'm going to be able to stretch and pull and line this up until it 
uh, nest perfectly with the satellite photo I have. That's why they call it rubber sheet, because you're going to stretch it until everything lines up. So let's get started on that. My best advice on this is to pick a corner and just go either clockwise or counterclockwise. And it's going to take several passes, maybe three, four, five passes to get everything right. It's a bit tedious, uh, but eventually it'll fall into place. So I'm going to take these corners and I'm going to stretch them see how far off I am. Right now what I'm looking at is right where it says Beersheba Springs there is a road Highway 56 and it, it's pretty far apart so that's telling me we're going to have to make some other changes here. And also notice over where it says Savage Gulf State Natural Area right about here that uh, the trails are pretty far apart. I see the red trails behind this map and then I see black on the map itself. So I'm going to slide over to the right. Still pretty far off. Take this corner, go up. Starting to match up with those curves, but not quite there. There's an intersection there. I'm looking at the red trail and the black dash line starting to come together. I can hear the colonel on the A-team. There we go. That intersection's starting to look good. The trails around Sutter Falls are looking good. Let's get this curve on Highway 56 lined up. Okay, that's switch back. That's looking good. The trail seems to be about in order. Yeah, everything checks out. Even down to this Highway 108. Okay, so I think we're good. So that didn't take too long. So now in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to click end editing and I'm going to go back to the rubber sheet mode. I'm going to click on the map. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to change the transparency or color back full. Now I'm going to go back to rubber sheet. I'm going to pick this rubber sheet and I need to export it. Finished exporting. Would you like to import the finished product into TAC? Yes, I would. Okay. Now that I've done, I'm done with these edits, I can actually delete it out of rubber sheet mode because this is basically my works in progress. I'm done with it. So I'm just going with the KML. Now, you see, there's the map we just created. You see a lot of other maps overlays out there. Let me zoom in. Even though this was not a high quality download, it is good enough for us to hike off of. Would have liked to have got a higher quality version. They do sell in our state higher quality versions, but they're georeferenced PDFs. I haven't tried to incorporate those into the system, but this is good enough for our purposes. Um, even though it's outside the scope of this particular discussion, I do want to highlight if you do not have elevation data download it into TAC, you're really missing out. If I hold down on this directional area arrow, click on 3D, take two fingers and swipe. Oh, I missed something. Let's try that again. And swipe up. Those contour lines really start to come to life. Yeah, top of map tells you the same information by itself. This really paints the picture. Helps people understand what they are in or about to be in. And this isn't a very elevation diverse park, relatively speaking, but still fairly impressive to look at. And of course, with the elevation data, as I click on an individual point, it'll tell me what the altitude of that point is, which is useful. But I digress. So well, we have created our map. We have 
imported it into TAC. Now it is available to us when we go in overlays. Image overlays, I get 76 in there. Remember what I said about naming conventions. TNSP, going down through to Savage Gulf. There it is. KMZ, gives me a grid coordinate. I can turn it off if I want to. I can turn it back on. I can send it to somebody. And you see I've gone through and hit pretty much all of the state parks and some of the local parks within my county. Very useful tool, very powerful. When you first deal with these overlays in TAC, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have these colored lines over all of them. I think it kind of clutters up the view, the view. So one of the first things I do is I go into overlays and I turn the outlines off. Now, they can be useful when you turn visibility off, either because you've hit one of these eyes off, all the eyes off, or you clicked on visible off. When you have the outlines on, that lets you know when you pan over an area that more information is available. Not a bad thing, but it just comes down to personal preference. I usually leave them visible and outlines off. Well, that concludes our tutorial on how to create rubber sheets. These are exported as either KMLs or KMZs in a folder within TAC, so you can copy and paste those to a thumb drive, you could email them, or you can send them within TAC itself. Thanks.